Okay, so after I made my last screencast about making a recital program, I realized that there was something I forgot to talk about that uh, I meant to, and so I'm going to uh, just talk about that. This is dot leaders that I want to talk about. So I'm going to go into my templates here, open up recital program, and this doesn't have all the names and uh, specific information here, but uh, I'll be able to illustrate this just fine like this. So um, <clears throat> I hinted in the last video that I would talk about dot leaders. Uh, with respect to uh, tabs. Uh, I, I showed in the last video how I had um, press F11 here to show my styles, how in the piece title style I had set a tab at 7 inches on the right hand uh, side and that it was right aligned so that when um, so that when you press tab from here for the composer's name it goes and aligns itself perfectly on the right and I was gonna show how sometimes people like to have things right aligned and then have a whole line of little dots here the way you do that is not by putting a whole bunch of periods because this is unreliable and uh, even if you try your best you'll probably end up with things that look a little bit ragged on the right hand over there what you do is use dot leaders which is one of the options when you set up your tab so I'm gonna go back into piece title to modify it and then under fill character here I'm going to choose dot leaders apply it and looky there each of those things that have a piece title style has dot leaders and now uh, this one up top when I press tab it will automatically make it isn't that cool okay that is how you do dot leaders okay bye